All right, uh, section 5.2 today, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Um, in examples 1 and 2, I have the convenience of uh, working with mixed numbers that have common denominators. All right, so I'm not really going to spend too much time on these because uh, these are fairly um, simple review. All right, but let's say I had 48 and one-third and 41 and one-third. The first thing I look for is a common denominator, which I have. Do I add my denominators? No, I don't. I need to only add my whole numbers and my numerators to make 89 and two-thirds. Make sure you have that in your notes. 48 and a third plus 41 and a third equals 89 and two-thirds. Example two, now I'm subtracting with common denominators. Six and seven ninths minus four and one ninth. All right, so six minus four, I subtract my whole numbers. Seven minus one is six and reduce. Two and two thirds. All right. But just remember, we don't subtract or add our denominators. Now, typically when it's the same denominator, I don't have anybody doing that. But when I start to have different denominators, and I'm multiplying and dividing, adding and subtracting all in one section, I tend to have students that sometimes forget this. So if I had 4 and 5 6 plus 3 and 3 fourths, I do not add my denominators together, but what do I need to do to my denominators? Yeah, I've got to have my LCD. Okay, so what's it going to be? 12, because 4 doesn't go into 6, so I go to the next multiple, and 4 does go into 12. 10 over 12. Wait, how do I know what my numerator is going to be? Very good. 6 times what is 12? 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. All right, what's my second numerator going to be? 9. All right, now that I have common denominators, I get 12 and 19, or 7 and 19 twelfths. Is that my final answer? Why? There's an improper fraction there, so I can take a whole out of it. I know that there's 12 pieces in the whole, so I can take another whole out of it, which makes my whole number a what? Eight. An eight with how many left over? Seven twelfths. All right, so just make sure that you don't leave your answers improper, that you take that whole out of it and add it to your mixed number. Example four. Uh, deals with subtracting when you need to borrow, okay? So, again, the very first thing I do is what? Find the LCD. What's my LCD? Six. Six. So my first fraction doesn't change at all. Minus now three and four sixths. Well, the problem is that I can't do 1 minus 4 without having a negative, and I don't want a negative. So what I need to do is I need to borrow from my whole number, okay, and make it a 5. But how do I know how many to add to my numerator? How do I know how many pieces are in a whole? What tells us? The bottom number, the denominator. The denominator tells us how many pieces are in a whole. So if I borrow a whole and I want to break it into its pieces, the denominator tells me how many that is. If the denominator is 6, I add 6. If the denominator is 5, then I add 5. And I rewrite my fraction. Don't try to do this part mental math. I see kids making mistakes on this every year. All right, so now I rewrite my fraction, 5 and 7, 6, minus 3 and 4, 6. Now I can subtract my whole numbers and my numerators to get 2 and 3, 6. And is that my final answer? 2 and a half. Okay, so whenever we need to borrow. 
Now we are going to do just a little bit of classwork. I want you to turn in your books or you can look up on the screen. Number six, seven, and eight. Now on number seven, we didn't talk about this, but I want you to think about it. If I have a whole number minus a mixed number, I need to have a fraction here. So I do need to borrow. I want you to try to figure out what fraction belongs there and then subtract them. We'll talk about it in just a minute um, for those of you who are confused. Okay, so 1 and 3 fourths plus 4 and 3 eighths. I need to find an LCD. All right, 5 and 9 eighths, but that can't be my final answer because it's improper. So 6 and 1 eighth. What do I need to do to number 7? Did anybody know? What do I do? I need to borrow. I do need to borrow, but what fraction do I make it? Why 8 eighths? Because there's an 8 in the denominator on the other side. Well, why would I make it? I mean, is 5 fifths a whole, technically? Yeah. But why would I make it 5 fifths and then I have to find an LCD? Why not just make it 8 eighths so I don't have to find an LCD? All right, now I can subtract 2 and 7 eighths. All right, now on number 8, what's my LCD? What's my LCD? 12. How did I get 2 over 12? How did I get that numerator? Because. I multiply the top by the same thing as the bottom, right? Okay, so, oh no, I can't do 2 minus 9. So what do I need to do? Borrow, Borrow from the 8 and make it a 7. But how do I know how many to add to the 2? The, what tells me? The denominator tells me how many pieces are in one whole. So if I borrow a whole, I need to add 12 to the numerator. I get 14. Where is it? There we go. 7 and 14 twelfths minus 6 and 9 twelfths, 1 and 5 twelfths. All right. Anybody get all three? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Um, okay, so now I want to review one more thing. This is going to be like numbers 26 and 28 on your homework. I want you to look at number 29 on page 213 and substitute and solve. Okay, so we substitute. Now the LCD was kind of tough on this one. Did anybody find it? What's the LCD? Manual got it. 105. 105 is the LCD. Um, you know, you think, well, maybe 30, but no, 7 doesn't go into 30. And then you go up and you say, well, maybe 70, but then 3 doesn't go into 70. So you just have to keep going until you get to 105. Create all of your equivalent fractions. Now, this is one of the more difficult ones that you would see on your homework. Um, but just know that anytime we're solving more than two fractions, it's still the same thing. I still have to find LCD. And then I add and subtract left to right. 3 plus 5 minus 7 is 1. 45 plus 35 is 80. Minus 42 is 38 over 105. Uh, you can use your calculators, guys, to make sure that this is in simplest form. Hit the fraction button and 38 over 105 and then equals. If it's the same fraction, you know it's simplified. If it gives you a different smaller fraction, you know that they simplified it and write that fraction. All right, um, if you understand that, that is everything you need to know for 5.2.